Okay, so this is the second part of our lesson on simplifying rational expressions. So I just divided it into two parts because of the number of problems I wanted to, to work out, some different examples. So this is going to be a continuation from previous lesson. So, so uh, we just make sure you go back to that previous lesson that we talked about because because that's where we started. We started with an example review, and then we did a, a simple example. We went on. So we're going to start with a simple example as well. So remember the directions to say simplify. And so let's look at number one. So let's suppose we had number one. We had six divided by eighteen times m plus five. Okay. Now remember the direction, uh, the steps. If you go back to that previous lesson, we looked at these steps. So the steps. Remember is to factor your polynomials. And then once you factor completely, then you want to reduce and divide out any common factors. And then you want to write your answer as a product of, of factors as one expression, one rational expression. Okay? So, so if you look at, at, the, at number one, so step one, see that's a monomial right here. So I'm not going to do anything with that. Here, it looks like it's already been factored, right? So, so I don't have to do step one. Step one's already been done. Now let's look at step two. Now step two, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this over. So step two says to reduce. So if you look at your numerator, there's only one factor you see, a six. Well, that six reduced with any factor down here. Notice there are two factors, so it's very important to know what your factors are. So this is an 18, this is an m plus five. So six will go to 18. So six goes to six one time, six goes to 18 three times. And that's all you can do. So now you're going to write your answer as one rational expression. So we're going to get 1 divided by 3 times m plus 5. Now remember, always leave the answer, leave answer in factored form. Okay? Leave answer in factored form. So in other words, leave it as 3 times m plus 5. Don't distribute. Now, you won't, you, you will, uh, on, on a paper test, if you wrote this as 1 divided by, and you did distribute, 3m plus 15, I'm not going to mark it, I'm not going to mark it wrong, but this is the one we prefer, okay? We prefer this. Now, if you did go further and you messed this up, let's say you said 3m plus 5, then you will not get full credit because you're graded on, on all the work that you do. Okay, so you got to be careful. So always leave it in factored form. In my math lab, for the most part, depending on, on the problem, we'll say leave in factored form. So you want to leave it like that. Okay, so that was number one. Let's go to number two. Number two, we have 7y minus 28 divided by 8y minus 32. Okay, so I have these two binomials. So remember, the first step is to factor. So if you look at the numerator here, I can factor out a 7. The GCF is a 7, so I get 7 times y minus 4. The denominator, the GCF is an 8, so I get 8 times y minus 4. Okay? So I did the first step, so the first step is to factor. The second step is to divide out your common factors, to reduce. So if you look at the numerator, you have two factors, 7 and y minus 4. So let's get the first factor, 7. Well, that 7 reduced with a factor in the denominator, an 8 y minus 4. No. Your next factor is y minus 4. Do you see a y minus 4 occurring as a factor in the denominator? Yep, right here. So those divide out. Now remember, don't just cross those out. Remember what that means. So they, they divide out. So that means you're left with factors of 1. <clears throat> kind of makes sense because anything divided by itself is 1. So you're left with factors of 1. And so, again, that's not your answer because your final answer, you got to write it as, as, as a product of these factors and one fraction. So 7 times 1 is 7, 8 times 1 is 8. <clears throat> okay, number 3. Number 3, we have p squared minus 49x squared divided by p squared plus 9px plus 14x squared. All right, so p squared minus 49x squared divided by <clears throat> p squared plus 9px plus 14x squared. All right, so the numerator, notice that looks like the difference of two squares, and it is. So I can factor this, the numerator, as p minus 7x times p plus 7x, okay? The denominator, 
And remember, you have two variables here, so you got to be careful. There's a trinomial, and the GCF is 1, so I'm going to go directly to the two binomials. So P times P, the last sign's positive, these signs are the same, and they're both going to be this one, so they're both positive. And then 14x, there are two possibilities. 14, 1, 7, and 2, so I'm going to do 7 and 2. So 7x, remember, that's 14x squared, right? So 7x and 2x. All right, so that's what I get, and always double check. P times P is P squared. The P 7x times 2x is 14x squared. The outer is 2xp. The inner is 7xp. 7xp and 2xp is, is um, 9xp. And so therefore, I factor the next step is to reduce. I see a P minus 7x. Do you see a P minus 7x in the denominator? No. I see a p plus 7x. Do you see a p plus 7x in the denominator? Yes. So those will divide out. And so therefore your answer will be p minus 7x times 1 is p minus 7x divided by 1 times p plus 2x, which is p plus 2x. So that's your answer. Okay? All right. Number 4. Number 4, we have x squared minus 81 divided by x squared minus 13x plus 36. Okay, so so the numerator, I can factor, that's the difference of two squares. So I'm going to get x minus 9 times x plus 9. The denominator, um, the GCF is 1, so I have this trinomial, so let's go to the two binomials. So x, x, the last sign's positive, which means these signs are the same, and they're both going to be negative. And I want a 13x. So 6 and 6 is not going to help, right? Because 6x and 6x is 12x. So it looks like it's going to be, what, 9 and 4? So 9 and 4. Because a negative 4x and a negative 9x is a negative 13x. And so I factor completely. Now let's go ahead and reduce. So I have an x plus 9 as a factor. Do you have an x plus 9 as a factor on there? Yes, you do. I have an x plus x minus 9, x minus 9. I have an x plus 9 here. Do you have a factor of x plus 9 here? Nope. So therefore, your answer is going to be 1 times x plus 9 is x plus 9. 1 times x minus 4 is x minus 4. Okay? All right, let's go to number 5. <clears throat> number 5, we have, let's see real quick. Okay, we have 3y squared plus y minus 4, that's a y, divided by 4y squared minus 4x minus 35. All right, so uh, if you factor the numerator and denominator, so in the numerator, uh, I'm going to go to the two binomials because the GCF is 1, it's actually GCF is 1 for both. So for 3y squared, 3y and y, the last sign's negative, so these signs are going to be different, and then I want the last to be a product of negative 4. So it looks like what's going to work will be a plus 4 and a minus 1. So let's double check. 3y times y is 3y squared. A positive 4 times a negative 1 is a negative 4. The outer is a negative 3y. The inner is a positive 4y. When I add them up, I get a positive y. Okay, so I factor the numerator. The denominator, uh, for 4y squared, let's try 2y and 2y. And for 35, let's try 7 and 5. And remember, the signs are different because the last sign's negative. So it looks like it's going to be a plus 5 and a minus 7. And again, let's double check. So 2y times 2y is 4y squared. A positive 5 times a negative 7 is a negative 35. The outer, 2y times a negative 7 is a negative 14y. The inner is a positive 10y. And you um, get a... Uh, that should be a y right here, sorry. And so you get a negative 4y, okay? All right, now let's reduce. So I have a 3y, 3y plus 4 over here, right? Okay, do you have a 3y plus 4 in the denominator? No. I have a y minus 1 over here. Do you have a y minus 1 in the denominator? No. So what does that mean? So that means, just like we looked in the previous lessons, I, I factored completely. I don't see anything wrong with this. I did factor completely, right? So that means that no, they have no common factor. So that means that the answer, you will say, can't be simplified. Okay? 
part, you can say, sometimes you can see, you can just rewrite the problem. So the, so the answer is going to be 3y squared plus y minus 4 divided by 4y squared minus 4y minus 35, or you can just rewrite the factored part. 3y plus 4 times y minus 1 divided by 2y plus 5 times 2y minus 7. Okay? All right, so, so this one, a factor completely, but they have no common factors. So you can say can be simplified, or you can just rewrite one of these over. All right, so that's number five. Let's look at number six. Number six, we have 3x plus 5 divided by 6x squared plus x minus 15. So 3x plus 5 divided by this, this trinomial. So the numerator, the GCF is 1, so I, it's linear, so I can't factor that, so I'm just going to rewrite it. The denominator, though, it looks like I can factor this as two binomials. So let's see, uh, 3x and 2x is 6x squared, and I need a negative 15 here. So let's try a positive 5 and a negative 3. So let's see what happens. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared. Uh, a positive 5 times a negative 3 is a negative 15. The outer is a negative 9x. The inner is 10x. And when I add them up, I get 1x. Okay, so I factor completely. Now, in number 6, can you reduce? Are there common factors? Yeah, there are common factors. 3x plus 5, 3x plus 5. So, remember, be careful. See, what happens is some students, they'll, they'll just cross it out, and they'll say the answer is 2x minus 3. It is not 2x minus 3. It's what? 1 1 divided by 2x minus 3. That's the answer. So you have to be careful. So it's very important. It is very important that when you, when you cross these out that you know what that means. That means you're left with factors of 1. Okay? All right, number 7. So let's suppose in number 7 we had this in number 7. We have 4x squared minus y squared minus 10x minus 5y, okay, divided by, <clears throat> divided by 14x plus 7y minus 35. All right, now, don't, don't, just watch, what, uh, listen carefully and watch our discussion. Okay, so notice that the, the uh, numerator has four terms, right? So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it, 4x squared, minus y squared, minus 10x, minus 5y. And so I'm going to try grouping. I'm going to group the first two. I'm going to group the last two. All right, in the first group, now if you go back to all the problems we've done, all the problems we've done with grouping, we always look for a common factor, right? And that's what we did. But but that's not always what you're going to do. You're not going to always look. You're not, you're not going to always say, <clears throat> what's the common factor? That That's just happened what it was. Remember, when you group, you're looking to see, can I factor this further? That's what you're asking. So if you look at, at these two terms, the, they don't have a common factor, but I can factor this further. What do you notice about these two terms? That's the difference of two squares. So you want to factor this as the difference of two squares. Okay, and what's what's going to happen? So I'm going to get 2x minus y times 2x plus y. So that's how you're going to factor this. They don't have a common factor, but it is a difference of two squares. Over here, they do have a common factor. What's that common factor? Well, that common factor is a negative 5. And when I factor out the negative 5, I get 2x, because negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. And then a positive negative 5 times y is a negative 5y. And then notice these two groups now. What do they have in common? A 2x plus y. So we factor out the 2x plus y. We factor out the 2x plus y. Notice what happens. What's left? 2x minus y. And then minus 5. So that goes here. Okay, so that's my numerator. 2x plus y times 2x minus y minus 5. All right, so that that grouping is is a little bit different than than what you've had in the past because in the past, remember when you grouped, you always look for a common factor. This group right here did not have a common factor, but it was a difference of two squares, so you could factor further. 
All right, and then notice they do have a common factor, so you factor it out. In the denominator, look at those three terms. What do they have in common? The GCF is what, seven? So I can factor out a seven, so I get seven times two x, it's 14 x, seven times a positive y, <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me, I, I'm writing this from another sheet of paper, so that, let's go ahead and make that a negative right here. Make that a negative. So I get minus y, right? Minus y. And then, and then um, 7 times a negative 5 is a negative 35. All right. And the reason why I changed that, guys, was because I wanted these two factors to be the same. Okay. So, so that's minus 7y right here. Okay. And now, notice, can I, can I reduce any common factors? I have a 2x plus y. There's no 2x plus y as a factor down there. But if you look at this trinomial, it's right here. So those divide out just like that. And so therefore the answer is going to be 2x plus y times 1 is 2x plus y, and then 7 times 1 is 7. So that's your answer. So, so that one's a little bit more challenging because of this right here. All right. <clears throat> okay, so that's number 7. Let's look at number 8. So number 8, let's suppose we had this. For number 8, we have 2x squared plus 13x plus 6 divided by 2x plus 1. All right, so I'm double checking. At, it looks like my signs are correct from, from what I'm transferring. All right, so be careful. When, whenever you do your work, uh, make sure when you transfer from another page to your work page that, that you don't mess up with the signs. Okay, so we're going to factor the numerator and denominator. So the numerator, uh, it looks like, I can factor this as 2x and x, and then uh, the last sign is positive, so they're both going to be this sign here, so they're both plus, and I want a 13, right? So for 6, the factors of 6, 6 and 1, uh, uh, 6 and 1, 3 and 2, so I don't think 3 and 2 is going to work, so let's try 6 and 1. So let's put the 6 here, the 1 there, and I think that should work, because 2x times x is 2x squared, 1 times 6 is 6, the outer is 12x, the inner is x, you get 13x. And down um, in the denominator, I can't factor that any further, so that's going to be 2x plus 1. So now the next step, once you factor completely, the next step is to reduce. So notice I can reduce these, and so the final answer then is be 1 times x plus 6 is x plus 6 divided by 1. But don't leave your answer like this. Remember, you, 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 you all know that x plus 6 divided by 1 is just x plus 6. So that's the answer. That's what you want to write. Okay, number nine. Number nine, let's see. Uh, number nine, let's suppose we had, we had this. All right, so number nine. You have negative 10t plus 30t squared minus 5t cubed divided by, divided by, 16t squared minus 48t cubed plus 8t to the fourth. All right, so that's what we have. Okay, so what I would first probably do is, is I would put this in descending order, both of those. So let's go ahead and put this in descending order. So if I put this in descending order, I'm going to get negative 5t cubed plus 30t squared minus 10t. And the denominator, if I put that in descending order, I'm going to get 8t to the fourth minus 48t cubed plus 16t squared. Okay? Now let's go ahead and factor the numerator and factor the denominator. So, so it looks so far in the numerator. Now remember, whenever the leading term is negative, I always factor out a negative. So I'm going to factor out a negative 5t, it looks like, right? Negative 5t. And so when I factor out a negative 5t, I get t squared, because negative 5t times t squared is negative 5t cubed. I get um, a negative times a negative is a positive, so I'm going to get a negative 6t, right? Because negative 5t times a negative 6t is a positive 30t squared. And then for the last term, it looks like I'm going to get um, plus 2, it looks like. Okay, because negative 5t times 2 is negative 10t. The denominator, 
Now you may say, well, should, should you try factoring this further? You, you could uh, try, but let's see what happens down here first. Now, if you do it now, notice, uh, just notice, you can't factor this. This right here is not factorable. The, no matter what two binomials you try, you're not going to get those three terms. All right, so this is not really factorable. But I would just, uh, before going any further to C, I would just see what happens down here because because this may occur down here. All right, let's see what happens. So over here, it looks like I can factor out um, an 8 uh, t squared, right? So 8 t squared times, all right, 8 t squared times t squared is 8 to the fourth minus 8 times um, 6 t, 8 t squared times a negative 6 t is a negative 48 t cubed, and then 8 t squared times a positive 2 is a positive 16 t squared. And see what I was mentioned? So you see those appear. So those automatically divide out. Now let's talk about the other two fact the, the other the other factors. So I have a negative 5 as a factor here. Will that reduce with a factor, one of these factors? Nope. I have a t as a factor. Will that reduce with one of these factors? Yep, this one right here. So I have you have one up here, two down there. So remember from previous lessons, these two monomials. So I'm going to divide one of these out with one of these, and you're left with 1t. So the answer is going to be negative 5 times 1 times 1 is negative 5. 8 times t times 1 is 8t. That's your answer. So negative 5 divided by 8t. Okay? Number 10, we have um, d cubed plus 27 divided by d squared minus 9. So d cubed plus 27 divided by d squared minus 9. So if you look at the numerator, that is the sum of two cubes. Okay, so so let's go off to the side and kind of and kind of figure that out. So so uh, um, in the parentheses, in the parentheses, that's a d and that's going to be a three. So that's the sum of two cubes. So I can factor this as a binomial times a trinomial. So my binomial, a binomial is going to be d plus three, and my trinomial is going to be d squared minus the product of d and 3, so that's minus 3d, plus the uh, last squared, so 3 squared is 9. Okay, so that's the numerator. So this right here is the numerator. So that's going to be um, d plus 3. That's nothing right here. So that's going to equal d plus 3 times d squared minus 3d plus 9 divided by, now that is the difference of two squares, so that's going to be d minus 3 times d plus 3. Okay? All right, now let's reduce. I have a factor of d plus 3. See, I have two factors up here. It's important you see that. Here's one factor. Here's the other factor. Okay? Just like over here. You had three factors, a negative 5, a t, and this trinomial was another factor. So you had three factors up here. And so this factor reduced with this factor. Same thing here. This factor reduced with this factor. This factor is not listed down here, so you're done. So the answer is going to be 1 times this trinomial is a trinomial divided by d plus d minus 3 times 1 is d minus 3. So that's your answer. Okay? All right, number, let's do a couple more. Uh, let's do 11. So 11. 11, you have, you have, um, let's see, x squared plus xy minus 6y squared divided by 2x squared plus 11xy plus 15y squared. All right, so, so be careful with, because you have two variables involved here, so be careful. So in the numerator, um, I'm going to go directly to the two binomials. And so when I factor this, I'm going to get x times x is x squared. The last sign's negative, so obviously these signs are different, and I need a 6y squared. So it looks like it's going to be a 3y and a negative 2y. So let's double check to make sure we get these three terms. x times x, x squared. 3y times a negative 2y, a negative 6y squared. The outer, x times a negative 2y is a negative 2xy. 
the enter is a positive 3xy, and when I add them up, I get xy. So that's the numerator. The denominator, when I factor that, let's see what happens. So I get 2x and x, the last sign's positive. These signs are the same, and they're both going to be positive. So that can, was, is, is easier. For 15y squared, there's only, there are two possibilities, 15, 1, 5, and 3. So we're going to try 5 and 3, but remember it's 5. Uh, it's 15y squared, so, so be careful, you need, you need a y here. So it looks like it's going to be 2x plus 5y times x plus 3y. So let's double check. 2x times x is 2x squared. 5y times 3y is a 15y squared. The outer is 6xy. The inner is 5xy. When I add them up, I get 11xy. And now we reduce. Do you have any common factors? Yep, these two, and that's the only one. So you divide those out, make sure you put one to their place, and so the final answer then will be 1 times x minus 2y is x minus 2y. 2x plus 5y times 1 is 2x plus 5y. Okay, and let's do one more, number 12. Okay, so number 12, let's suppose we had this. We have <clears throat> uh, 7 times t squared minus 4 divided by, um, I'm sorry, uh, 7t squared minus 28 divided by uh, t to the fourth minus 16. So I was already doing the work for you. So here's a problem. So so the th <clears throat> um, you're gonna uh, factor completely. So let's let's do let's rewrite the numerator right here because it looks like I'm gonna need a couple of steps here. So over here I can factor out a seven, right? So I get seven times t squared minus uh, four. But I can factor the t squared minus 4 further. So I'll be 7 times, because that's the difference of two squares. So that's 7 times uh, t minus 2 times t plus 2. I'll agree? Okay. So, so, then, so then over here, I'm going to get um, 7 times um, t minus 2 times t plus 2. Now the denominator, the denominator... That's t to the fourth minus 16. So let's think about that, t to the fourth minus 16. So, so that is a difference of two squares because I can write this, if you think about it, this right here, that's t squared, and this is 4. So this is a difference of two squares. So I can factor this as t squared minus 4 times t squared plus 4. And then, and then now I'm thinking, well, maybe I should have left this alone because, look, this is t squared minus 4. What do you see here? t squared minus 4. It's okay though, if you want to go further and factor, that brings it back to the one we had earlier. Um, you, you can factor it further uh, if you want to. Uh, t minus 2, t plus 2. This is a sum of two squares, you can't factor that, so leave it as t squared plus 4, and that's going to go here. So t minus 2, t plus 2, times t squared plus 4. And then you reduce, you reduce. So so when I reduce, these t minus 2's divide out, these t plus 2's divide out, and so you get 7 times 1 times 1 is 7, and then 1 times 1 times t squared plus 4 is t squared plus 4. All right? But what I was, gonna, I was trying to make this point that, that if you look at it again, number 12 again, if you look at 12 again, where you had, where you had 7t squared minus 28, divided by t to the fourth minus 16. I want you to just see what, what would happen. So, so in our discussion, if you go back right here, when we factor the numerator, I had 7 times t squared minus 4. Okay, And then you would say, well, well, should I factor that? Well, I did. Um, but if you didn't right now, that's OK. But you may need to later on in the, in, in the process. So let's see what happens. Over here, if I factor that, we know that's going to be t squared minus 4 times t squared plus 4, and now you would say, well, it wasn't really necessary to factor this further. I did not, I did not need to factor this because that factor is listed down here and automatically those divide out. And so you get 7 divided by t squared plus 4. Okay? Alright, so that was number 12. And I think, uh, I think we are good. Let me just double check. Right, no, that was really one more I wanted to do. Um, so this will be number 13, and then we'll, we'll end this lesson, number 13. 
So you should have, with, within this lesson and the previous one, you should have enough examples to get you through the idea of how to, how to simplify rational expressions. But this is the final one I want to look at. You have x squared minus 9x plus 18 divided by x cubed minus 27. Okay? So if I look at the numerator, that's easy to factor right away. So that's going to be um, x times x, and I think it's 6 and 3, so plus 6 and plus 3, right? Okay, that will give you those three, oh, I'm sorry, minus, excuse me, minus. So that's going to be, give you those three terms, because look, a negative 3x and a negative 6x is a negative 19x. Now the denominator, you have the difference of two cubes, so let's go ahead and figure out what that is, x cubed minus 27. So, so I know I can put an x here and a 3 here, so that's the difference of two cubes. So remember, when you, when you factor the difference of two cubes, it's a binomial times a trinomial. And remember that trinomial, you can't factor any further. So this can become x minus 3 times, and then your trinomial, remember it's the first, so this squared, so that's x squared. And it's always the opposite sign of what this is, so it's plus, and then the product of these two right here, so 3x and then plus the last squared. So 3 times 3 is 9. So that's going to go here. So I get x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. And now reduce. Now remember, this can be factored further. cannot. All right. So whenever you factor the sum of difference of two cubes, you get a binomial times a trinomial. That trinomial cannot be factored further. So you're done in terms of factoring. Now you just need to reduce. So what factors can I reduce? Well, I can reduce the x, x minus 3's, and that's it. So the answer could be x minus 6 times 1 is x minus 6, divided by 1 times this trinomial is the trinomial. And so there's your answer. Okay, so, so in, this pre, in this lesson, we continued, just remind you, uh, we continued with, with our lesson. This was part 2. And so, again, you have enough problems. You have like 12 problems here, 12 in the previous one. So you have, you have quite a few different problems to get you through um, this lesson. Now, this is going to be very important for the, next, for the next topic. And so the next topic is where we're going to take these and we're going to start multiplying and dividing. Okay? All right, so that's going to be the end of this lesson.